Alright guys, so today we are going to get after a little bit more Rivals before the reset that happens, uh, I believe tomorrow. We have played our placement games and uh, feeling pretty good about the squad. We've got some packs to open, including another X-Factor choice pack. I traded in 50 non-gold, or sorry, non-NHL gold players that are untradeable. I'm not going to work towards an x or a team builder, so no problem there. And I've been saying don't invest in X-Factors, and I tradable for sure, don't invest in tradable X-Factors, especially if you're no money spent, but... I think uh, I know I'm going to be playing a lot of hut champs, so I'll know I'll be able to sustain a lot of X Factors because I'll get so many hut champs collectibles that I can use to upgrade very easily. It's a one to one trade in for, for anyone that hasn't seen hut champs yet. If you get one hut champs collectible, you can turn it into one power up collectible. So obviously, with all of those, you can you can level up your X Factors pretty quick. So we'll save that one. So we'll rip these ones first. We got a premium pack that we got from trading in 10 untradable jerseys. You always want to be doing this set because no matter what, you're going to make coins. I had 10 untradable jerseys that I was going to do nothing with we're gonna just cash these in and i might just sell these guys like i might actually just sell these players i'll get like 900 maybe a thousand coins and yeah nothing here but i can sell all this stuff and end up with you know a couple thousand coins and that was all for just gold jerseys that i wasn't going to uh, i wasn't going to use here so we got two gold player pack we're gonna rip here go what do we got we got uh peter abandonado and Michael Repic. Okay, so we're not going to use them, but that's okay. Next up, we got our X Factor pack. We're going to the premium two gold player pack. We're hoping for someone useful. Come on. Give me a purple. That's not it. All right, Kelly Panic. That's not going to work either, I don't think. She's not very. Oh, she's got 88 speed. Maybe. There's a couple of women cards that I want to try out, to be honest, on the free to play team. Speed kills in this game right now. All right, now's the big time. I would take any of the big four. So McCarr, McKinnon, Matthews, McDavid, and uh, Larkin, Stamkos. Those would really be it. Those are the ones that I would be really, I would, I would really amp for. Anyone else, I'd be okay, like whatever. All right, so we're going to go with the back here. We want, obviously, McDavid. That would be huge. I haven't got an X Factor McDavid even on my God squad. So here we go. All right, first on the docket. Show me potato salad. Oh my god, it's the wrong Connor. The other Connor. Okay, this is the definition of not what you want. Because th there's no way that he's worth it. Two more options, man. I keep getting trolled by Kyle Connor. All right, Connor McDavid. Here we go. John Carlson, okay? We might go with John Carlson because we have no good defensemen, really. We have a couple of the bare, like, the, the bargain ones. Um, but having someone who can actually, like, bump people off the puck and, and whatnot would actually be pretty uh, pretty helpful. Um, he does get to 88 speed, so that's not bad. So, no matter what, we'd probably take him. But, hey, maybe. We got one more. Come on. Show me something good. Who do we got? Okay, we take Stamkos. Not bad. Not bad at all. Get bailed out by the Stamkos, the Stamkos pull. Not bad for the free to the free to play squad. 92 speed right there. Again, like one of the better cheaper cards. I don't know if I would keep investing in him, but just getting up to his 85 isn't very expensive and definitely worth it. So we are gonna go with Steven Stamkos. We are loaded on the right side though. Dude, I don't want to get rid of Connor Bedard. Connor Bedard has been so much fun. I'm gonna lose fly the zone, and that's an issue. Stamkos has fly the zone. The issue is is that I can't get him high enough right now to get unless it's unless it's the first one it might be the first one i don't know yeah of course they make it like that okay so we are gonna do as many upgrades as we can with our 10k he's almost already usable right out of the right out of the gate so and then we've got 1700 next up is 6500 and then we've got to get his base card and we'll take a look, see what his base card's going for. Samkos is going for currently basically full price. Okay, so we're gonna need about 40K to get him to his last tier. The other thing I wanna do is we'll take a look at my collection. Take a look at the collection real quick. And we are just gonna see what I have tradable and then I'm gonna sell all of that stuff. So we haven't really talked about what to do with cards that are tradable. And because I haven't really had any tradable cards yet, get rid of them all. Like sell them on Mondays and Tuesdays, sell them for you know what they're going for. And uh, you want to always just get as many coins as you can. So I've got 12 cards right here. None of them are all that good. And a lot of them are my lineup. But Gus Nyquist, we can get rid of. He was actually a pretty good card. And then we'll get rid of all these silvers and gold. So I'm going to go put these up on the auction house real quick. And then we'll go from there. Couple up. Couple gold NHLs are for 900. So I can sell it for that probably. Can I? 950 is a blow up there. Yeah, so nine. We might be able to get 950 for those gold non-NHLers. And then we've got some silvers as well as Gus Nyquist. So I'm going to go find out what they cost. And we're going to throw them up on the market too. Silver cards, guys. Yeah, they're, they're only going for about three. 300 right now uh so those silver cards that i have tradable i'm actually just going to keep and i'm going to use them in a set again because you know it's 900 i have 
and I can actually get the exchange set to get some golds. And those golds, no matter what, will have more value than these silvers. So um, that's completely okay with me. So we've got four there. That's fine. And now we're all set. Let's get into a game. And we're going to start tackling rivals again today. So we're going to take a look at some rivals gameplay. I'm in division three. I believe I have like, I think 1800 points. So getting up there in the decent opponent. Got a bronze players pack. Excellent. Okay, let's see what's in here. Maybe we can get a nice backup goalie. Miles McGurdy, Dario Winkler, Josephine Asperup, and okay. Never sell, guys, never uh, trade in or sell your bronze goalies. Those are worth the max. Those are worth like 5K each. So uh, just a heads up there. All right, one more look at the team now before we go in. And uh, we've got, so we've got Pasternak, Barzal, Kucherov, Jared McCann with our new X-Factor Stamkos and Taylor Hall. And then Kachur, Bedard, Amantha, and then Kapanen. Does any of these guys have face-off ratings? 62, 71, and 70. So we'll put, it really doesn't matter because the fourth line doesn't see any time. And then on defense, we've got Grizzly Carlson, Yannick Burren, and Alexander Carrier with Braden McNabb. So we need, we really do need a defenseman. Uh, we'll try to focus on that over probably our next card to grab. But uh, all right, let's get into a game. All right, we're taking on Dust Balls. Sam Coase's debut. 11 6 and 2, the guy is. I'm 7 2 and 1, so not bad. Let's get after it. Oh, he jumped. He's nervous. Bad break in there. He's got Chesterkin. That's uh, team builder Lyles, it looks like. And I'm assuming that's the new Latang. Pasternak. Nice little cut. You get in the middle. Nothing. Set up the overload, maybe. Try and cut off that. Mm. This is a good breakout by him. Offside, though. Okay. Here comes Stamkos. His debut. Try to get one on. All right, let's set up the overload. Oh, that up the bar behind him. Oh, dude, that almost snuck in. Jumped. Bad jump. That Marie Philippe Poulin, like I said, guys, that card is gross. Big save. We've got a stick left here because I don't want to lose the tie-up. Perfect. Losing the tie-up right now is brutal. Oh, let's go, Mantha. Nice po check. Cut into the middle, please. Cut into the middle, please. Why are you going back to the point, Mantha? Tip that. Oh, we almost got it. Nice stick. Dude, base, base Matt Grizzly is, is the truth. That's a nice play. That's extremely ugly. Okay. All right. Bang. Let's go. Burn. Okay. Dude, this 80 overall, 80, uh, 80 overall primetime Yannick Burn card. Ties things up, dude. Oh, he ran out of room. He took away his first read. Took away his first read, dude. We're going to tie up here. He did backhand straight back a couple times. Excellent. When you get someone who's kind of going in stride with you guys and they po-check, that's when you really want to try and accelerate. Fire one on. Oh, okay. All right, not a bad period. Not a bad period. Because of the po-check nerfs, once they po-check once, if you aren't, like, just trying to beeline it, I kind of try and wait in the neutral zone for them to po-check and then straight line in. So we're controlling play. Let's get after it. Come on, let's get the next goal. Let's get the next goal. Put some pressure on. Okay, he tied up with it. All right, so now I know that if he goes, if he goes forehand again. All right, keep. I need to get that low far side shot. That he's covering that well, so. Oh, he knew. I knew that was coming. Bars out. Oh, he got turned around. Try and snipe that up top. The goaltender will sometimes come off a little bit, uh, depending on if they're using a really tall goaltender. I know Shisterkin's not, so. Kind of hard to aim it, though, because you got to aim short side. Oh, I didn't want to pass. Okay. Two on one next time. He plays the body at the end, or plays the player at the end, so I might try and go back door. Fire this one out. Try and beat him along the side. Oh, I got caught on the ref? What? Hello? Barzal rip one on. Haven't really got to use Stamkos at all this game, so can't really give my feedback on him just yet. But Barzal's card is one of the best in the game. One of the easily the most fun cards to use. If you can get a card with like 90 agility and above and he has elite edges, it's absurd. Fire that on. Tipped in. Ah, that was a weak backhand. Bad step up. Got a, got a little aggressive there. Just missed that far side. Wow. Let's go, Stamkos. Now's your time. Why am I taking one time? Resident Shell 23. Get in. Oh, we drew a penalty. All right. We drew a penalty with Stamkos. So his speed, his speed caused an issue. He's going he's gonna to tie up. Yep. 
Ha! Oh, try to pick that far side with Hall. All right, we're controlling play pretty heavily here. We just don't have a lot of shots. Oh, let's go, Barzal. Put pressure on. Oh, he held on to it. Nice play by him there. Fire this on. Come on. Oh, I just want to get this to Barzal. Oh, my God, dude. He's all covered, dude. The whole side was there. Holy smokes, fellas. What a frustrating shift there. Jesus. Terrible power play. Can we keep this? No. Nope. Looking for a rebound. Oh, man. Almost had one with... Nice move with Pasta. Oh, my God. How do I not end up with that? Grizzly got walked. Big save, Leonard. I don't want to play this out. That's habit. And that was a giveaway. Not ideal. Yep. Brutal, man. Brutal play by me. Oh, that's frustrating, dude. Absolutely frustrating. Big block from Stamkos. All right, we're going to tie up. No, straight back. I should have went tie up. I changed my mind too much. Got caught on my own guy. What a read. Mantha's in. Oh, he went for the highlight and I screwed it up. Oh, I almost got it anyways. All right, went for the went for the gram and that was, uh, you know, not ideal. Might have cost me. Might have cost me. Got a stick lift here because you can't lose a tie-up on this situation. Oh, he's nervous. Stamkos, maybe shorthanded. Can't get a shot away against this guy. I've been, he's played pretty well defensively. Oh, he played well defensively. Did what he had to do. Hey, Jeep. All right, we got to get back in the wing call. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone for the uh, the toe drag, the Datsu flip there down by one late. Control play, but is what it is. All right, let's load up another one. 18, 12, and 3. We're almost 500 here. We got to figure it out. Let's go, Kudrov. I thought I could get by him. I gotta start cycling the puck. I'm trying too much off the rush, and because I'm using a you know my free to play team, it's just not like built for that. Like there's a lot of other good players that. Oh man. So let's just get in the zone, set up the cycle, and go to work. Stamkos maybe. Oh, he's playing me tight. Where are the where's the rest of my line, please? Thank you. Tip this. Oh, nice shot. We're gonna shoot low. Let's go. That's ugly. That's got to be stopped. Nice, D. Let's go, Bedard. Not enough time, I don't think. Yeah, not enough time. All right, not a bad. Okay, better start. Much better start. We got to leave this time. All right, he has no shots on goal. He's nervous. Let's go. Rebound. Let's go. Barzell. We fire off those pads. Oh, Barzal beelines right for the net. We love that. Maybe we need to, I need to, I think I need to employ to chat. We need a, we need a poll to see who, what the logo and jerseys are. We'll try to snipe here. Short side snipe, doesn't go. On the breakout, read that well. Matt Grizzlick's already there. He's going to go over there, commit that way, fire that out. Oh my goodness, it's a train wreck. All right, that's a... Yeah, that was a penalty. 100% that's a penalty. Should be Arizona because they're never spending any money? Oh my god. Has anyone seen the Arizona barn? Like, is it a small junior arena? I feel like that's the home, man. That's our home. I'm going to do a long flip. That almost works. You can do that quite a bit on the rush if they're overloading the one side. Um, you just got to aim it quickly or correctly. He's going to cut back to the outside. Yep, good read. Oh, man, I thought I blocked that. Wow, that got through. Nice deke. We're going to hold on to that. I trust myself uh, on the faceoff against this guy. He's got uh, he's got an opposite-handed player on the left wing here, so we can't lose the tie-up. So we have to do a stick lift, and we win it. Fire that up to Pasternak, but he overskates it. We'll go back for it. That's a terrible breakout by me. I got caught looking up the ice. Oh, I didn't shoot that. I didn't want to shoot that. 
Oh, wow, Pasta got there. Okay, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's, that's an unfortunate turn of events there. Let's go, Samkos. Come on, show me something. How did that get through? Yannick Burren, man. Jared McCann with the back check, too. The boys are playing good defense today. Okay, give that goal to Kendall Coyne. Man, so fast. I kind of want to get her card just to try it out. Hey, when you read a play like that and it still goes through, are we going to get this puck or no? Um. Okay, let's settle this down a bit. Oh, maybe? Ah, I waited too long. Pull it back a little bit. Yeah. Last second. Oh, man, what a po check. Big save from Leonard. Try to get by him with speed. Nope. Hubert X-Factor card. I haven't seen that, I don't think. Can we buy him? We do. Sauce this across. Oh, it almost went in. And an intercept. Can rips one on. We're going to get that. Yep. Let's see if we can get a one time or gold one T from Stamkos. Let's see if we can set that up. I don't know if we can get it off though. Go around the net and see if we can get it to him. That might have been in. That might have actually gotten there. Who am I kidding? It's NHL 23. We're not scoring one timer. Let's close out this game, man. Get going, Mantha. Get going. Beat him. Beat him wide. Yep. Let's go! Tuck one upstairs with Mantha. Let's go. What a shot. I have really liked this Mantha and Bedard card. Mantha's card has been great because there's a lot of players that are fast in this game that everyone's using that have no body checking. So it's very hard to get them to the get the puck back. Wow, that was a nice play by him. Oh my god. That's not ideal. The bigger players feel like Mantha, he bumps everyone off the puck. So it's just, a, it, I found him really effective. Okay, we need to, okay, again, we can't lose the tie-up because he's got an opposite-handed player on the left side here. So we have to go stick lift. And it's Kucherov on the draw because I didn't set my lineup and we still win it. Let's go. We're going to deke here. He steps up with the po check. Offside. Okay, perfect. Got McNabb. And we're back in the win column, boys. Let's go. That one in. You saw it. Let's go. Big win for the boys. Mantha absolutely snips one. Back up to 17-19, so we're, we're getting closer to Division 2. Definitely controlled that game. All right, we'll play another one. Let's go. We're 8-3-1. He's 15-6-2, so he's a pretty decent player. We're going to stick left off the start, and we win it. Okay. Hit bars Allen stride. Oh, man, we almost had that backdoor wrap. Barzal is just so agile, man. Like, you can go left and right so quick. Back to the point, maybe? No. He's just ripping shots. I respect it. Bad read by me because he keeps switching to this guy. Let's go, McCann. Avoid the po check. Yeah, send this down low. Someone's there. Oh, Fowler. What are you doing, bro? That's unfortunate, man. He didn't pick the puck up. I don't care if we lose it. There. Stay in the lane because it looks like he's going to try and... Uh... Let's go, Tervo. Tavo. That was a great breakout. Let's see if we can get lower here. He chased? Oh, I stick lift there. I didn't want to do that. Let's go. Man, we read that well. Oh, nice cut. Let's go. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. All right, not a bad start, but the ending was not ideal. Nice tip shot. That's a bad play out by me. I gotta. I just gotta be more patient. Carlson just whistled that one wide. Stamkos, I just haven't noticed him offensively at all. He's been pretty good defensively, but. Offensively, I need him to... Oh, big, big hit there to knock away the rebound. We're going to keep going. Pars oh, need to get some shots on goal. Keep that, keep that, keep that. 
Let's go, Coacher. Dude dove right through that trying to block it. Let's go. Okay, he keeps doing backhand straight back. And right, we read that well. I want to. I want to tip shot, and I just blocked it with my own guy. Okay, we got the lead, man. We got the lead. Let's go. Tie up because he keeps going backhand straight back. And we win. Perfect. Oh, please give me that. I, The breakout for my guys are just not working well. Like, everyone stopped. Everyone, the, per, the problem what you don't want to get into when you're breaking the puck out is everyone not moving. Oh, maybe? Terrible pass, man. I had him. Dude, he's just getting that one po check. We gotta send this down low to see if we can't. Oh, maybe. Hammer that one on. Come on. Okay. Oh wow, he fell for it. Oh man, in that block. We gotta make a decision there. I can't just stand. Nice play, Fowler. Okay, we're good. Drive it wide with McCann. I can't wait to get unstoppable force in this card because. I feel like he, that's when he becomes really, really good. It's just going to be so hard to knock him out the puck. I'm going to beat him down the side. Oh, maybe I am. Nice cup by him. We got to stop this. Let's go. Send that into the middle. That was just a force. Nice D. No, I wanted to puck chop that, and I didn't get the chop. Don't score. Okay. We hold on to that. Woo. Okay. He's going to take his time out. All right. He's going to take his time out. Here we go. Okay. Now, again, same situation. Because he's got off and wingers, we have to do a stick lift because he can't get a tie-up animation here because he'll just come in and be able to go far side. So that's fine. We take that and rush him at the point. Yep. Wait to be pressured. Yep. Yes. Let's go. Wait to be pressured there. All right. Let's end this. Tie up here. He keeps going backhand straight back. There it is. Oh, maybe. Oh. It's a mess of the blue line. Get this. Let's go, Barzal. Eat the clock. Wow, I didn't want to throw that at the net. Sure. Big win. Let's go. Big win. All right, play well defensively. Offensively, you can definitely use some work. Man, Stamkos just has not been it. As we move up a rank to Platinum in Rivals, we work towards getting those max rewards. 1744 in Division 3. I'm pretty happy with that on the free-to-play team. Uh, definitely controlled play there. Logan Couture gets the big one from Connor Bedard. Robin Leonard. Go and take a look at the lay of the land nap. He played some more Rivals games. As I believe we got some... T oh, we got the... We got the the win tier rewards which are instant and i use rewards very loosely because they are not very good we got some objectives done we got the hut oh we got our first hut spotlight thing done that's a thousand coins but we also got our first two hut spotlight collectibles which is big so this is for uh just playing games with a hut spotlight collector or a hut a hut spotlight player which is jared mccann we get two you get uh two collectibles and what we're gonna do with that is we are going to throw them in Jared McCann, and we're going to get a little bit of an upgrade here. We also got uh, some other packs. We got a premium pack. Uh, I believe this is for the win rewards, so maybe we'll pull something here. Let's go. All right, Dylan Dubé. That's not going to play for us. But again, we can use this, and it is tradable. We might have gotten this from the milestones, to be honest with you. I, I wasn't paying attention. Dante Fabro. He actually might start for us. And Matt Martin. So again, we can sell all these because they are tradable, which is what I'm going to do. We're actually back up to 8,000 coins from selling all of those from the uh, gold jersey pack. So I sold all those in the auction house for just the minimum what they were going for. Able to build up the coins a little bit more. And we'll do the same thing with uh, these packs as well. Another gold jersey. Two gold jerseys. That's big. And last one is another silver player. So again, we'll sell all of those. Okay. So like I said, I want to go and take those two hut spotlight collectibles that we earned. And we're gonna fire them right into jared mccann there we go and we're working towards that free 88 so now we got uh, our 85 and we are going to unlock that second synergy not going to be able to use it though because i don't the protector is what it is 
Uh, we do unlock make it snappy, uh, but getting him to level to 88 to tier five is big because then you get unstoppable force and unstoppable force makes him really good because he can just hold on to the puck very easily. And as you can see for a lot of this, it's very hard to get the puck back, especially at launch when everyone's using smaller defensemen. So that's pretty big. So now we've got a pretty pretty good center. Stamco. So in his first uh, three games, he had one assist, uh, plus minus was zero, no goals. So a little underwhelming there, uh, but that's okay. We'll keep grinding with him and we'll see what we can do with the lineup. Barzal has been a force. He has been easily my best card. Uh, extremely fun to use. Pasternak is still kind of hit or miss. Like, I've enjoyed him uh, in squad battles, but online, I just haven't really. We, I might grind the, the power-up collectibles starting next week around Thursday after the rewards are done or after I've grinded rivals in squad battles and get the, the two power-up collectibles from the offline challenges so that I can finish off Pasternak, get him to level 88, and then uh, we're gonna get Jared McCann to 88 for free by just playing with him. And also, next week, when the eight days are done, we'll get that free 88 uh, choice pack from the Spotlight event. I think I have to go with the defenseman and the best one looks to be byram but also Latang. one of those two i think is who we're going to take as the free card i really want to take goudreau because goudreau has been so good on my god squad but i'm completely okay with this so here is the team guys in the next episode we'll uh we'll go over some more team building i might work the market a little bit and show you guys uh what i'm trying to do when i'm working the market with very very low coins um so i might throw that in the next video as well let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i'll see you on the next episode of no money spent have a good one